Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the cppforbeginners.com tutorial series about learning C++. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series so far. I believe that this is episode 33, which is Back to the Basics Part 2. Um, I promised that we'd go over strings and how to use them and all that lovely crap, so let's do some of that. Um, before we go forward, I want to tell you guys a little bit more about C. Um, C is clearly the, the predecessor to C++. As a matter of fact, C++, as I'm sure you probably noticed from our I++, really just means C++. Um, back in the C days, they didn't have strings. They actually had to use character arrays. So a lot of the existing functions that are uh, contained in libraries like string are actually going to deal with character arrays rather than dealing with strings. Let me show you. Um, in this lesson we're going to cover string cpy, which is string copy. We're going to deal with string cct, which is string concatenation. No, that's that's not right. Concatenation. Something like that. Concatenation. I can say it. I just have no idea how to spell it. This is not a tutorial about spelling. Um, that's why they abbreviated that to CCT. Um, we'll also be using hmm, Sterlin and yeah, hmm. I suppose that'll do. I think we'll just cover those three for this video. Um, we might get to one more if we have time. But for now, I want to show you guys the basic idea of what we're doing here. We're going to do a character array of 80, and then we're going to clone it and make character array 2. Both of these are empty. Now, when we're using uh, different types of storage, in this case character array, we could use cin and do something like that. But the problem is, cin doesn't handle white space. So if I have, if I hit the space bar, if it says like, enter your name, and I enter in Damien, the rest of my last name, um, it will actually stop after that white space and the rest of it is going to get put into a buffer and go to the next time it see ins or it'll just overflow so that's no good get line which we covered with c in and then the var name was great for strings um, but the way it handles data is not going to be suitable for this I should also mention to be careful with these because the get line also requires that you use something like a cin.ignore after it because you end up with an enter. You know how you type in something and then hit enter to, to use it? Well, your enter actually gets stored in that, so if you use it, it also hits enter and you know there's there's just problems but what we do use for character arrays is cn dot get line and then as you can see it popped up with a million helpful suggestions there and so that's going to allow us to basically have the same functionality as get line but handled by cn and that's just going to fill up our character array with junk. 
So here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy uh, everything from character array over to character array 2. And there's a couple of different ways we can do that. Now, we can just use string copy, which is boring. And I want to show you kind of why. Um, just one moment here. Sorry about that, I had to pause this because I forgot to do something. Um, you also need to enter in the size of the buffer with getLine. So in this case we're going to do 79 because the last character needs to be a backslash 0, which is known as a null 0. And we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, um, we're going to do this using a for loop. Again, we could use string copy, but I want you guys to see what string copy actually does. We're going to say for int i equals zero, uh, ch array. Actually, we can't declare i here. We're going to have to declare i here because we need to use it again. Oops. Ch array of i is not equal to uh, null zero. I plus plus. And then we're going to simply set ch array to of i equal to ch array of i. Okay. Let me explain this just in case you sort of haven't figured it out yet, which would be totally understandable. Clearly, we all know what this is, the int i equals zero. Character array i um, does not equal a null zero. When we finish entering in whatever it is we enter in, say it asks for our name, we say c out, and we'll, we'll do that up here see out enter your name so that get line is going to represent our name now if we enter say Damien here's how it's going to kind of store that you have to kind of picture a character array as having different sort of blocks So it's going to store it something like that. And then after the last block, it's going to have a, geez, I am having issues typing. It's going to have a backslash zero. And then the rest of the spaces all the way out to 80 are going to be blank. So this null zero, when it hits here, that means it's time to stop copying because the rest of this stuff in here, it's just crap. So that's going to actually copy our array over. But the problem is, since we're not copying over the null zero, we need to use this int i's value, as it was set in here, to apply the null zero to the second array. So we're going to say ch array to of i is equal to null zero. And then we're going to simply see out ch array 2 because you can treat it just like a string. You can see out it like a string. And hopefully this will work. Yeah, there we go. And we'll say uh, Damien of Reddit is my name. And so as you can see, it copied over successfully, and I'm going to go right ahead and say that's beautiful. But it's a lot more beautiful if we can do that in a simpler way. So here's what we're going to do. Now, again, that's all just theory right there. You will most likely never, ever, ever need to know that. But in the event that you need to know it for something similar now you do what we can do is type stir 
CPY, and then we do CH array 2, comma, CH array. And that should be pretty much it. Um, I think that this might actually run into an issue. Okay, that's actually a pretty big issue because yours truly put the comment in the wrong location. Okay, so let's try this again. Damien of Reddit. So there you go, that's string copy in action. It's pretty useful in case you weren't able to discern that. But let's look at another use for it. Let's um let's ask for a first name and then a last name, and we're going to use just regular C ins here. So we're going to say C out enter your first name. And then we're going to sort of C in for uh, CH array. And then we're going to say C out slash n enter your last name and we're going to just see in again for ch array 2 now there's a lot of different ways that we can handle this we can simply print out something along the lines of that I'm going to comment this out as well we can simply print out something like uh, your name is, and then do something like this, uh, ch array one, and then do a blank space, and then ch array two, but that's not, that's certainly not fun. I mean, it'll work, but it's not really fun. So, and we'll say of uh, Reddit. I'm pretty sure you guys know my name anyways. But Oh, and actually that didn't work quite how we wanted because again, we're not using get line and I used a space. So that was a bad idea. But there's a sort of easier way to do this. We're going to just take from here and I guess we'll keep CHRA too. So what we're going to do here is call strcct, and we're going to put the contents of, or well, actually it's the other way around. We're going to take uh, chArray2 and add chArray onto the end of it. And I'm hoping, or is it strcat? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, sorry about that cat not cct okay and we're going to say my name is damien of reddit and actually it managed to put it on in the front which was a terrible idea but you get the basic idea that's appending to the front there are different ways to append to the back um because what strcat is actually doing, let me check my time here. Ooh, Jesus, I have to wrap this up. Uh, I didn't even have time to hit Sterlin, so I'm actually going to talk a bit more next video about what Sterlin and Stercat actually do, since I already sort of uh, misused it here. So with that, I hope you guys will join me next video. And I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching another episode. I'm Damien, your wonderful host. If you have any questions, post them down below. There is no homework for this as it is a back to the basics lesson.